Well, hello and welcome to Months and Made This. My name is Michael, I cook vegan food, so if you are interested in that, definitely click the subscribe button below, give this video a thumbs up while you're down there, and click the join button because now I have channel memberships, which means that you can help support this channel and get something in return. So uh, with the one option I have on channel memberships, you get access to all of the months and eight this videos, which are my little after shows where I eat and chat, a little more casual conversation. Um, I also have PDF phone friendly recipes of all of the new videos that are coming out. And you will also receive a thank you card at the end of each video while your name will appear at the end of the video, which we'll see at the end of this video as well. Um, so enough about me, let's talk about what I'm gonna be making today. Um, the last video that I made was for a teriyaki chicken bowl salad, and that used a universal vegan cold salad dressing, which is my current obsession. And um, I'm back today to show you a couple more recipes that use that same exact dressing, which is right here. I've already made a batch. It is silken tofu, cashews, a little bit of olive oil and seasonings. If you wanted to make this nut free, you could leave out the cashews. If you wanted to make it oil free, you could leave out the oil. But I think the combination of all those makes a really creamy, nice mayonnaise type dressing. It's just really high in protein and a little bit better for you. So the two salads I'm gonna be making today, one is I'm calling a mackle flour salad because it can be made with cauliflower or it can be made with macaroni noodles. And um, I'm gonna start assembling it here and I'll tell you all about it. The second one I'm making is a barbecue potato chip salad, which I'll talk about in a, another little bit. So I've already pre-prepped a lot of stuff here. Uh, one of the things I prepped in advance was the cauliflower. So this was a head of cauliflower that I cut up into little pieces. Watch my cauliflower taco video. It's got a whole tutorial in it on how to cut cauliflower and uh, it's the same size that you would use for that, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, in that video, you roast it. Here, what I've done is just boil these in salted water for about five minutes, drain them, put them in some ice, cold water, drain them again. I like to use this uh, salad spinner because it helps to get all the liquid out so that the sauce doesn't get diluted. So to this cauliflower, because we're going in sort of a mac salad direction, I'm going to be adding some brown sugar. There is a little bit of sweetener already in the, uh, the dressing, but we're kind of going for like a Hawaiian Mac salad. So a little bit extra sweetness helps a lot here. I do have another video on my channel for a Hawaiian Mac salad. And that's kind of what inspired this. I might actually like this a little bit better with this dressing. That one does use mayo. So I have some brown sugar in there. I have some grated carrot. It's like the fine grate. I like peas in my macaroni slash kali. Macaulay, macaulflower salad. So I'm adding some peas in there. Red bell pepper. You could use green if you wanted to. And then uh, my onion of choice is going to be green onion. So I wanna mix these all together before I add the dressing, just to kind of distribute that brown sugar as well. We're pretty much done. So, the macaroni version, which I was gonna make in this video, but I'm like, well, I'm already making this one way with the cauliflower. It's the same exact thing, but with macaroni. So you need a pound of cauliflower for this recipe, which serves probably about four. And then uh, if you were using pasta or macaroni, you would just need a half pound of dry macaroni cooked. And you wanna cook that till it's, I think the term that's used often is until it's fat. You don't want it al dente at all. You want it really well cooked. So this batch of dressing is good for both of the salads that I'm making today. So I'm gonna use about half. When I make these salads, I also like to you I, I like to be a little bit lighter on the dressing up front because I know that I'm gonna be keeping this in the fridge for a little bit. And what I like to do is to toss it with a little bit more dressing just right before serving. And that way, if the dressing gets absorbed into your ingredients at all, which is especially gonna happen with a macaroni salad, um, it just helps to loosen things up and preserve that creamy texture that we want. I'm gonna add a little bit more now. The last video, as I mentioned, is the teriyaki chicken bowl salad, which is a rice-based salad with soy curls as the chicken. Um, I forgot to taste my salad in there. It was still good. Luckily, my seasoning was right, but I'm gonna make sure to um, taste this before I 
go. It's so good. It's just got like the perfect little macaroni salad, but you're using cauliflower. And if you can see here, it's super creamy and it will kind of firm up a little bit as it's in the refrigerator. I've already taken some photos of this salad as well. Um, I might take some more after this, but um, I made a batch of my almond bacon to go on top. So it's kind of a bacony ranch flavored thing. So um, I'll have that linked as well on the, uh, the website MunsonMadeThis.com, which is where these full recipes will be. So you can make the almond bacon as well to go on top and that would be delicious. So here we have, you saw how quick that was to make, although I did spend quite a while cutting the cauliflower and it did need to simmer for about five minutes. But here we have a delicious cal mac, <laughs> keep forgetting how I'm saying it, mackleflower salad. Eats just like a macaroni salad, but it's cauliflower. And it's super high in protein because you're using this tofu based dressing. So I'm gonna set this aside. And I'm gonna talk about the next one. So the next one I'm calling a barbecue potato chip salad. Why am I calling it that? Well, initially, the test for this recipe used barbecued potatoes. So I cut the potatoes into little wedges, like you would for making kind of home fries. And I put them on the barbecue, kind of medium to medium low heat on a gas grill. Let them go for about 20 or so minutes so that they had some nice crispiness. They were a little bit blackened and they were cooked all the way through. So I didn't feel like going outside because it's supposed to be like 110 today here in Las Vegas. So I decided to just use my air fryer. I have a Breville smart oven with an air fryer on it. So I just used the air fry setting for that. The reason I cut them into these wedges is just a little bit easier to deal with them on the grill. But if you wanted to just boil these potatoes, you could. If you wanted to air fry them and just have them maybe go a little bit quicker, you could just cut them into little squares, but I kind of like the wedges and then to cut them into little kind of half inch, maybe three quarter inch sections. Now doing a potato salad with non-boiled potatoes is kind of a game changer. The potato is a little bit richer. The sauce clings to it a little bit better. It just like absorbs the seasoning. We're gonna be adding um, what I'm calling my barbecue chip dust, and that's gonna be what creates the barbecue potato chip flavoring. Um, we're also gonna drizzle on some, um, I just have a bottled barbecue sauce at the end if you make your own. Both of these recipes can be made super like plant-based, um, no real processed ingredients. I don't really consider tofu a processed ingredient. Um, you can make them oil-free, you can make them nut-free, um, I did use a little bit of oil and salt on the potatoes when I air fried these. Um, I do think that you need a little bit of salt in the cooking process to just help the seasoning. All right, I'm just gonna put these in the bowl because it's got a lot of similar ingredients. I'm not even gonna worry about washing it. I've also portioned both of these salads to feed about four people. I don't know if I already said this. The whole point of me making these salads with this universal dressing is that I wanted to eat cold salads as a meal. I wanted to be able to make these, keep them in the fridge, grab them, have them as lunch, not feel guilty that I was just eating a bunch of mayo. So using this tofu, it's like the dressing is the protein of the dish. And I just love that. Um, it's not fat free. There's good healthy fats. I hate the word healthy, <laughs> but there's good healthy fats from the nuts in here. And uh, it's just a wholesome filling dish that just happens to look like a potato or macaroni or mac cauliflower salad. So to the potatoes, I'm adding some carrots as well. Some corn, you could use whatever vegetable you want. I would maybe use a fire roasted corn, but right now it's just regular frozen corn. I am using some shallot. You could use red onion if you wanted. And uh, when I've grilled it before, actually like on the barbecue outside, I've grilled the potatoes, I've grilled the onions, and then I have some red bell pepper here. I've also 
grilled those. So pretty much all the ingredients, you could do that with your corn as well. Um, don't worry about me wasting these, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. The measurements will be on the website in the recipe, but I don't know, it's a little bit different every time, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but these will get eaten, they're not going to waste. So, um, if you were grilling them, you'd grill them, it's easier to grill them whole, cut them up, then put them in a salad. Um, missing an ingredient here. So I like to add just a little bit of apple cider vinegar, maybe like a tablespoon. There's already some vinegar inside of the dressing, but I think it moistens things up and just adds a little bit of a pop of flavor adding it to the potatoes because the potatoes will just suck it right up. All right, I've got my barbecue chip dust here, which the whole recipe for this will also be on the website. Sprinkle a bit of that on, maybe like a taste tablespoon or two. Toss that around. Again, this is just so that it cleans the potatoes, seasons the potatoes. It smells like a barbecue chip. All right, let's go ahead and add the dressing, especially because this one's more of a like starchy base. You want to reserve the dressing right before, or uh, reserve a little bit of the dressing to toss right before you serve. And uh, I have some cilantro. You could use some green onion if you'd like. Um, it, it does benefit from just like a little bit of green on the top. Some of these little bowls, I love them. I got them from a, my grandparents' yard sale. I think I have like 14 of them total. They're perfect for what I do. All right, let's load up the barbecue potato salad. You forgot to remind me. Taste it for seasoning. So good. Add this to my dish. It's a little flatter than the cauliflower one, but whatever. I'll lick the bowl later. And then some fresh cilantro, just for a bit of green. So these two salads went together very quickly, only because I prepped a lot of ingredients in advance. So we have our macaflower salad, which is a mac salad inspired cauliflower salad, which could easily be made with macaroni, or as I'm using capitavi. This potato salad is a barbecue potato salad where most of the ingredients are supposed to be cooked on the barbecue, but I just did them inside on the air fryer and left some raw. But they're both delicious, have a little bit of dressing left over so that once these hang out in the fridge for a while, I can sauce them up a little bit more. Do you want to add maybe just a little bit more of this barbecue chip dust to the top? And that's it for today. I'm very excited to eat these, which I will be doing on my Munson Ate This videos, which you can watch by joining my channel by clicking the join button. Uh, Patreon still has access to all the videos as well, so you can follow the link below to my Patreon page and you'll have access to all, I think like 38 Munson Ate This videos at this time. So good. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is gonna be the last video that uses this sauce, but Trust me, it's got infinite possibilities. Um, let me know what you'd like to see next. It's still summer, still in the middle of a pandemic. So let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see as we continue on. That's all I've got for you today. Oh, I always forget something. Hey, remember I told you barbecue sauce? Just wanna drizzle a little bit on top. I didn't give you a close up of this one either. Mess. So here's the barbecue potato salad. Okay, that's officially all I have for you today. I will see you next time with another recipe video. Let me know what you'd like it to be. And uh, yeah, thanks to all you subscribers and channel members and people that have helped this channel grow and uh, keep things going. So thanks, bye.